Imagine if you were forced to stay inside and never see any of your friends or family. Well, in that case, oxytocin levels would significantly decrease. And so in this video, what I'm going to do is look into oxytocin nasal spray as a powerful way to increase empathy and improve socialization and many other benefits in the human body. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please like the video and hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So what is oxytocin? Well, oxytocin is a pleiotropic peptide hormone with broad implications for general health, adaptation, development, reproduction, and social behavior. Now, endogenous oxytocin oxytocin and stimulation of the oxytocin receptor support patterns of growth, resilience, and healing. Now, oxytocin can function as a stress coping molecule, an anti-inflammatory molecule, and an antioxidant with protective effects, especially in the face of adversity or trauma. Now, oxytocin induces a general sense of well-being, including calmness, improved social interactions, increased trust, and reduced fear, as well as endocrine and physiological changes. Now, long-term benefits also include blood pressure reduction, and also, in addition, oxytocin can be used in nasal spray form to treat sexual dysfunction or low libido. Now, just bear in mind, if you are looking for a high-quality oxytocin nasal spray, that will be linked down below in the video description if you do want to source a high-quality oxytocin nasal spray. Now, here's a really interesting study. The study was titled, Is Oxytocin Nature's Medicine? Now, interestingly, oxytocin is used for a wide range of conditions. And we can see that testing has been done in cases of autism spectrum disorders, schizophrenia, postpartum de uh, depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorders, borderline personality disorder, addiction, pain, metabolic and digestive disorders, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and infectious diseases. Now, what's really interesting around oxytocin supplementation or, ex or exogenous use of this particular hormone is that it is possible that oxytocin administration has a positive feedback loop. Now, most of the time with other hormones such as testosterone, for example, if you take testosterone, your body will shut down its own production. That is called a negative feedback loop. Whereas with oxytocin, it's possible that it has a positive feedback loop, meaning that exogenous administration may actually increase endogenous levels. And we can see that, interestingly, it says that stimulation of the oxytocin system, especially early life or in early life, can feed forward to release more oxytocin. And interestingly, we can see that um, availability of the oxytocin receptors can be dynamically modulated by increasing exogenous oxytocin administration, um, which basically speaks to oxytocin's autoregulatory effects or its autoregulatory properties. Now, interestingly, is it possible that oxytocin can enable humans to, to read other people's minds? Or in other words, does oxytocin have the ability to improve mind reading capabilities in humans? Well, this study here actually does seem to support this particular claim. Um, and so what they noted was that oxytocin improves the ability to infer the mental state of other people from social cues of the eye region. Now, oxytocin might play a role in the pathogenesis of autism spectrum disorder, which is characterized by severe social impairment. So if you're someone who potentially just struggles to read social cues or you're a little bit awkward socially, maybe you're just struggling to like fit in when you're in big groups or maybe at parties and things like that. Well, oxytocin, which again is increased by other illegal drugs such as um, MDMA, which is known to increase oxytocin. Maybe oxytocin administration in nasal spray form could actually be a party drug 
in the sense that it can open you up and make you more willing to uh, socialize and makes you better at getting along with um, strangers. So that's a really interesting effect with oxytocin. So what are people saying about oxytocin nasal spray? So this guy said, I'm about three quarters of my way through the first bottle of oxytocin from Science Bio. The effects have been noticeable and interesting for me and I would like to uh, compare notes as well. The spray delivers 100 micrograms per accutation um, accuation, and two sprays seem to be my happy medium. Observations, two to three minutes after spraying in each nostril, I get a full body flush, very strong and kind of pleasant. Definitely turns me pink for a minute, then subsides. It doesn't feel like my heart speeds up, but feels louder for a minute. If I'm going on about my day working on or running errands, I notice a little more patience and chill on my end. It's subtle, but more than a placebo effect. More was not better. It gave me a headache and a stiff neck when I did more than two sprays. Same day, I was more at ease with small talk at work and dinner and family talk at home. Not a drastic personality change at all. Just felt like it took a little less effort or thought than I normally have to tap into. No come down or tolerance that I can notice. The sex effects below. My favorite time to use oxytocin is right before sex. That rush mentioned above comes in incredibly enjoyable waves if I'm stimulated. I'm more verbal and connected with my partner. It works alone as well. This isn't the appropriate sub to go into too many details, but it's pretty amazing. Um, so we can see that oxytocin has, in this case, helped an individual with socialization and for sexual performance and sexual intimacy, which is a really unique effect with oxytocin. Now, here are some of the other major benefits of oxytocin itself. So oxytocin can improve mood and feelings of contentment. It can stimulate the vagus nerve and increase heart rate variability, which can also play a role in supporting digestion as well. It reduces the release of cortisol. It reduces inflammation. It can increase creativity. It elevates one's pain threshold. It reduces withdrawal symptoms and it improves self-perception in social situations. It also increases enjoyment of social interactions by stimulating the production of endocannabinoids, and it increases positive personality traits such as empathy, warmth, trust, and openness. So interestingly, I found a paper that links oxytocin with boosting DHT. So this study here was titled, Five Alpha Reductase Activity Increased by Oxytocin in the Rat Testes. And they basically noted that in vivo chronic administration of the peptide into the testes results in reduced levels of testicular and plasma testosterone, but raised levels of 5-alpha dihydrotestosterone. Um, so we can see that oxytocin may actually increase DHT levels and this may be useful in subjects that have used uh, finasteride or other potent DHT blockers. Here's a new way or a novel way to actually boost oxytocin levels, and it's through the amino acid taurine. Now, taurine has been shown in this study here to influence the release of oxytocin levels. Um, this could be part of its anxiolytic mechanism, uh, many of you know that taurine has anti-anxiety properties. Maybe it's the oxytocin that may be playing a role. And here are some other ways to boost oxytocin levels. We have vitamin C and megadose. Caffeine has also been shown to increase oxytocin. Lactobacillus rudieri, which has also been shown to raise oxytocin levels. Massage, light touch, having pets, acupuncture, yoga, relaxing music and sauna usage. All of these interventions have been shown to raise oxytocin levels. Um, and so finally, if you want to actually use oxytocin in nasal spray form, that will be linked down below in the video description if you do want to purchase. Otherwise, guys, if you have used oxytocin, please share your experience down below. I'd love to get some feedback. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.